Hey YouTube, Babish Gamoth here, and this is a tutorial on basic weapon modding and just modding in general on Borderlands 2. So for this, um, you gotta do what I'm doing right now, and you gotta put a USB into your Xbox once you go to system and storage. So now that this, this is done, you're gonna go into your hard drive, games and apps, you're gonna go down to Borderlands 2, and you're gonna select the character which you wish to mod. Now, if you have a flash drive or one of the things that goes straight from your Xbox to your PC, I'm not sure what it's called. So what I'm using now is a flash drive. <clears throat> then you can just plug that straight in from your Xbox to your PC. But yep, so as you can see, I just moved that to my USB and I'm going to take the USB out and put it into my PC and I'll see you on the PC. Okay, I'm on the PC now. I've got two programs down here called Horizon and Gibbed Borderlands 2 editor. So now I'm gonna I won't need Gibb Borderlands 2 editor open up yet. I'm just gonna need Horizon. I'm gonna go into games and it will say Borderlands 2 there and I'll just grab the character and move him over to this grey box. Now you're gonna go into contents and once you're in contents you're going to go export. You're gonna export them to the desktop and it'll say file extracted, sorry, not export. So now you can just minimize that and open up the Gibbed Borderlands 2 editor. Go open. Now you're gonna go all the way down to the save game, dot v -S -A -V, sorry. But now you're gonna make sure that this in the bottom is Xbox 360. You're gonna press open on that and it'll come up with your character information. So now once you're here, you can change your character's head or your character skin. I'm not sure if you can use a head that is from DLC. But yeah, um I just I just like sometimes I just whenever I want to do this I'll just randomly do it. You can also change how much XP or levels you have. So maybe if you're playing with a friend and he's got like two thousand more XP you can just up your XP by two thousand. You can change your credits, iridium, serif crystals and talk tokens. Um, at this stage, Iridium, ma Iridium's max is 500, and Money's max is 999,999,999. So just nine nines. Uh, you can add fast travel stations, and you can also add where your last fast travel station was. So just say you were somewhere in the middle of nowhere, but you want to get back to Sanctuary when you spawn in the game. I'm pretty sure that should take you back. Here you have your backpack. And you can see all the weapons you've got equipped and then weapons you've got in your inventory. <clears throat> so you can modify these weapons in any way you want. And I'll show you now how to make weapons from scratch. So yeah, you're going to press new weapon and choose whatever type of weapon you want. So, sorry about that. So um, any assault rifle, rocket launcher, anything like that from any company that makes those weapons. So I'm going to choose a Dell assault rifle. <clears throat> I'm going to make it the legendary one, as it says here, legendary. And then with most things, there's just one option. I'm going to change it to my level, which is my level 27. Um, and now I'm just going to choose a, a few random groups. So I might go a Jacob's group, a, yep, there's one option for that. A site, I'll go a, let's go a talk site. Stock, I will go bandit. Elemental, I will go fire. Um, yeah, shock, sorry. Um, here, for accessory one, you can choose whichever you want for this, and I'm just going to go with damage. But what you can do is, for this one, accessory two, it has none, but if you want, you can just copy and paste that one into accessory two. And this is what makes a hybrid weapon, I believe the term is. So basically, you're going to have to put this hybrid weapon into the safe or claptraps um what's it called claptraps thingy um after before you save each game but i don't want to do that i just want to have a normal weapon um prefix and title have nothing and game stage you're going to want to make your level so now that you've done that that's a weapon it automatically sort of saves and it just says assault rifle but it's going to name itself when you get in the game um, if you want to make a shield, a grenade mod, all that type of stuff, you go into new item, but I'm alright with that stuff. And then also, you can spawn in heads. So just say you're a mechromancer like me, you can change your head, but if your friend wants a certain head, you can spawn that in, and maybe if they're a siren or something, you can then spawn that in and give it to them. 
You can also duplicate a weapon in case you have another friend who wants the same weapon as you and if they're a level higher you can change manufacturer grade and game stage to one level higher. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it and I don't want that second weapon so I'll just delete it and now that that's done you can save and when you save you're gonna go down to your save game dot save or sav on the desktop yes you're gonna override it or replace it and now that that's done you can exit out of this and go into horizon and now you can right click on this go replace go all the way down to your game save press on that open and yep file replace successfully now all you need to do is save, rehash and resign and just to be safe you might want to do it twice or three times I might only do it twice because it always seems to work and now you can exit out of that and I'll meet you back on the Xbox okay now that we're back on the Xbox um, you're gonna go back to settings and system Make sure your USB is in your Xbox, you're going to go down to storage, memory unit, and you're going to grab your character from where I've just gone and move it back to your hard drive. It's that simple guys, please like and subscribe this video, um, tell your friends about us, all that type of stuff, and I might go play some Borderlands 2 now, thanks for watching.